Now, We 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Dollar. Carson, you said it best. Hollywood drama. Ooh, never ends. But I'm glad we're not seeing that kind of drama in the weather. Not at all. You know, we had that cold front move through last mm -hmm. night. Still kind of gloomy and a little humid this morning, but it's not going to last long. Oh, that's good news. So just hang in there. Let's go to the sky cams on this Wednesday morning here. It's 645. Yeah, it's kind of gloomy. Don't let that get you down. We'll have a good bit of sunshine later on today. Right now we got temperatures near 70, 69 to be exact in Huntsville and Decatur. It is 71 in Muscle Shoals. Good morning, Gunnersville. You are at 68 in Marshall County. So all of these clouds are behind the cold front that moved through last night. But as the day goes on, that less humid air continues to filter in. And that drier air, that's obviously not as humid, will help break up those clouds just a little bit. 31 triple Doppler is quiet. One thing I want you to keep in mind, if you live up here on Montesano, we got some clouds holding tough. Those lower clouds and the higher elevations may act as fog. Just keep that in mind if you're living in northeast Alabama hitting the roads. Otherwise, we're in good shape. Now, as we've talked about throughout the morning, some forecast models try to squeeze out a shower today. It's a very low chance, 10% or less. Nearly all of you, if not all of you, will stay dry. Just don't be caught off guard if you see a few sprinkles either this morning or this afternoon. Otherwise, the clouds will break up and our forecast high is 84. So the muggy meter is in the comfortable range today. It's going to stay that way for the rest of the week and into the weekend and into next week. A nice stretch of fall like weather is staying with us through the entire 10 day. Problem is the ragweed is getting really out of hand. Our pollen count is in the very high range through Saturday. So if you've been sneezing a lot this week, if you've got a little scratch in your throat, it's probably because of that ragweed pollen. Now we'll start to see some relief in that pollen by Sunday, but the catch is the lower pollen comes with higher rain chances and that could put a damper on your Saturday plans in particular. Future radar for four this afternoon, seeing one or two little showers trying to pop up. A lot of you will stay dry with that mix of sun and clouds. It's all quiet overnight tonight and looking ahead to Thursday, it's a carbon copy of what we'll see today. A mix of sun and clouds. Most of the rain will stay to our south closer to that front. But I can't totally rule out a stray shower tomorrow, especially east of I-65. The best rain chances we've got over the next 10 days will be Saturday. It is not a washout on Saturday. Do not cancel your outdoor plans. But if you have any of those plans Saturday afternoon, be on the lookout for those scattered showers and storms. It's going to be very much like a summer day on Saturday. Not worried about severe weather, but some gusty winds can't be entirely ruled out. Another cold front will dry us out by Sunday, but I'm not ready to say summer is totally done. Our temperature outlook shows a lot of orange and red across the US, including here at home which means the second half of September may have temperatures a little above average. And you see on the 10 day forecast, we'll keep those highs in the low to mid 80s through all of next week with the highest storm chances coming your way Saturday.